Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you all the supplies that I got for the upcoming school year and I was kind of like dreading making this video because, well, I don't want to go back to school and neither do any of you probably, but let's just hop right into the supplies. First I got four half inch binders in blue, green, red, and clear and I have four because that's one for each subject. Next I just got a couple of folders because, well, you can't go wrong with folders and I like to keep like paper and stuff in here so I don't lose it and I have it in blue and purple. I also got four plastic dividers and what I love about these are they're like bubble. They're so cute for like supplies. <laughs> but yeah, I really like these and you can find them at Walmart or Target, I think. Next I got two packet of highlighters and you may be thinking like, wow, Trinity is pretty crazy for buying that many highlighters, but they're buy one get one free, so yeah, rocking the highlighters. Then next I also got two packet of mechanical pencils and I cannot stand like regular pencils. If you use regular pencils right now and you switch to these, you'll totally understand what I'm saying because like, I don't know, regular pencils are super annoying compared to these because the other ones are like... You're in the middle of class listening to a teacher, and then all of a sudden, oh, there's a kid in the background sharpening his pencil. Like, I'm trying to listen to the teacher, but, you know, there's a person in the background creating, like, noise. So, yeah, get mechanical pencils. It'll make everything better. <laughs> the next thing I got was a jump drive, and it's the brand Lexer, and it's 8 gigabytes, and you will not even believe how much this is. It's $6 at Target. So, go and get these before they're out, because 8 gigabytes jump drive for $6. Like, that's an unbelievable price, so don't get this. <laughs> so I got a bunch of books because, well, you need books for school, obviously. And first one I got is Shelter by Harlan Coben. And I've actually already read this and my mom's reading it right now. That's why there's no book inside. But this was a really, really good book. And I read it in like, um, like a day because I was like reading the whole time I was at the beach and it was super, super good. And I definitely recommend this book. And this next book is The Way to Silence by Heather Gudenkoff. Sorry, I have no clue how to say that, but I already started reading a little bit of this, and so far it's super duper good. Next, I have Summer in the City by Candace Bushnell, and I, her, I've heard a lot of good things about this book, and it's like supposed to be like super girly and like about a girl who goes into the city and then finds love, I guess? I don't know. I'll just have to find out. <laughs> Next, I have Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, and as probably most of you know, this was a really good movie, and... I usually hate reading books after the movie, but considering half the time during the movie, um, my friend was trying to scare me because we were home alone and watching scary movies and then we changed to this one, so I wasn't really concentrated, so I was like, why not just get it and read it so that I can get caught up on the movie. And then next I have two of the same series, and the first one is Switched by Amanda Hawking, and these are actually becoming super popular, I guess, but I don't know, I just got them because they were online and I wanted to read them. So, and then the second one is Torn and there's also a third one out called Ascend. So I'll be getting that one soon. Next I have The Lost Years by Mary Higgins Clark and from the cover of this it looks pretty scary. So I might have nightmares but oh well, I'll have a good book to read I guess. And the next couple of things may be a little random but I have some um, ribbon because I like to attach this to my backpack just to make it look a little like girlier. And I got a couple colors, and I'll be going back to get more since they're only like a dollar. So, yeah. And then the last thing that I got was a lunchbox from Vera Bradley. And I love Vera Bradley backpacks. They're like the best lunchbox I have ever used. And the end of my supplies haul. Now, you may be thinking that I don't have that many supplies for going back to school. But actually, to save money and stuff, I'm actually reusing stuff from last year. So, that's a really good idea for you out there who want to like... Well, okay, my reason for this is actually just so I could get more, like, clothing shopping in instead of spending money on supplies, so if you want more clothes, I guess, go and read stuff from last year, I don't know, but that's just what I do, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, I hope you stay tuned for the rest of my Back to School series, I have some really cool videos coming up, so yeah, hope you all are having a great day, see you all next time, bye.